up when it was still on the team. And, like, the people like that. So you start to get out a whole bunch of flashbacks all that time. And, uh, you know, it's nice that uh, I was seeing that we were able to win in the fans' lap. So it just feels good vibes everywhere. Sorry, man. It's okay. I was going to um, At what point today did you realize you were kind of hot? Oh. I don't know, it just, as the game progressed, uh, started to test things out, um, shout out to Shout, like, that felt good, that felt good, and all of a sudden, I uh, just had a good game. Were any of your shots uh, heat checks? Like, yeah, I know this may not be the best one, but I'm not. Yeah. Which one? Uh, I think it was about seven on the shot clock, and uh, I was pretty far out, and I figured I probably should try to get to the round, but I decided to settle, and I went in, and I was like, wow, this is one of those I don't know, it's just a good thing. Did you realize that going into this game, you were 28 points away from 1,000? Yeah, I was 28 points away from 1,000. 1,000. Wow. So you hit 1,000. You didn't know? I had no idea. You're only, you're only the third transfer to score a thousand at series. You that, you what, what kind of a feeling is that for you? That, that's a great feeling. Um, we had a lot of great transfers to come through. Uh, Wes Johnson and one of them. Uh, now I'm just, just happy to be associated with those new guys. Mike, that was such a thing. Like, he was kind of slipping away. I think they got it to five at one point. Did you sort of take it upon yourself, like consciously, to try to take over? Yeah, I just wanted the, I wanted the, you know, just win. And uh, me uh, shooting the ball tonight was, was the best option. But honestly, I'm more happy that we won than my individual stand up. Trevor called this a must win for you guys. It makes sense before you head on the road, and then you've got the ACC tournament. So now that it's over, how important was it to pick up this W? Uh, very important. Uh, playing in USC is not easy, obviously. You know, you know we're going to have our hands full down there, so uh, any momentum we can build going to that game is big for us. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about UNC and going down to Chapel Hill and trying to avenge that loss from earlier in the year? Yeah. Um, you kind of said it right. Uh, we are looking for revenge, and um, you know, we, we just want to. We know uh, they're quote unquote seeing better as us, and uh, we kind of want to challenge that. So uh, we're looking forward to that game and let the, let the best team win. After we do coming up here, did you ever think that you get to the point where this would be such like home and, and you'd have a senior day like this? It really still hasn't hit me yet, honestly. Um, sometimes I forget I, I was that dude sometimes. Like, I guess that answers the question. Uh, Syracuse has just been a, a great uh, place for me. I really love Syracuse. And, uh, you know, we had great fans, uh, the students that I met, I met my girlfriend here. So a lot of great things I associate with Syracuse, except for the weather. When you guys say this is a must win, is it, is it, is it all because you, you sort of know that you're kind of on the bubble and the NC tournament stuff is that? Like, how much do you think about that? Uh, we're not really thinking about that too much. Uh, we try to take practice by practice, and then once we get to the game, try to lock in mentally. And, uh, you know, you just got to work hard, and uh, when it comes to game time, just hope whatever you've been working on, uh, just go out and try to do it. Did Jerry tell you that you're still 